Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondre and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint uh, this wonderful landscape painting. You can see here uh, two seasons. You can see the winter and the spring. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe. You have to subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification my new videos and tutorial. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on screen. You can see the fiber with colors, the brushes that we're gonna need and all the things that we're gonna need to paint this uh, painting. Okay, so I'm going to do the sketching now on the uh, right side, uh, on the left side will be the winter and the left side, I uh, know, <laughs> the left side everyone will be the winter and the right side will be the uh, spring. So, I'm going to put a pathway here, a little pathway, maybe I'll just... Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just try to paint the, the mountains first, but I'm going to add a little white on the on the raw umber. Yeah, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a tree here on the sides. So have a bigger some kind of. Uh, branches here and also here so I'll just put, uh, paint the same uh, thing on the on the uh, on this uh, boat painting but it will be in the different season and here I will try to put the horizon and also here it will be the same everyone And then I'm going to try to put a, a beautiful mountain. There. Now it's going to be here. It's okay if it is perfectly the same. It will be fine, everyone. You don't have to be hard to yourself. And here I'm going to put a uh, one pine tree. Yeah, it will be on this side. It will be a little smaller. And also here. Yeah, it will be uh, the same landscape, but on the different season. And I will put uh, maybe some kind of a uh, pathway here. Just a small pathway, and also here. Yeah, something like that. There. So we have now the initial sketch and. I'm going to start adding the colors so I will do it one by one everyone so first I'm gonna do the skies and then I'm gonna try to paint the mountains and then fields or I'm gonna do it step by step okay so I will be using a bigger brush which is the number eight nylon fresh, uh, no number 12 nylon fresh brush So flat brush everyone and uh, number 12 yeah you can use any brush uh, any nylon or synthetic brush and you can use uh, any size as long as it will become big enough to cover the areas okay I will try to put yeah maybe a little bluish mountain I'm gonna make the this uh, winter part much more cloudy or plenty of uh, clouds but I will try to put uh, the same I will try to put white here there I'm 
the term white we get a lighter blue And you need to blend it well, everyone. I'll just make it a little darker here on the on the top. And then I make I'm gonna make a bottom lighter, yeah. And you just have to blend it well. And the other one, I have to make it up. But right, I'll try to put uh, much more clouds here. Usually, uh, I, I don't know, everyone. I really don't know. Because I've never been in a winter uh, country, so it's all winters. So hopefully, I can also go in the future. Countries with have no and uh, with have with snows or winter countries. In my country, we have no winter here. I'll just try to find it in the in the Google images. Try to see what the winter will look like. Okay, so here, yeah. But I'll try to put much more clouds here. But uh, maybe I'll try to retouch it later on. Yeah. Maybe I will try to put now the. I'll try to retouch now the mountain. I'll try to put the mountain. Yeah, I'll always use the same brush. Uh, blue and red. Yeah, to make some purple. I'm gonna add a little white. So it will become not so much dark. Yeah. So this is a bigger brush, everyone. Maybe I, have, I, have, I need to use a smaller brush now. Maybe I'm covering some parts. There. Um, I'll try to use a smaller brush now. It is the number number eight nylon flat brush. Not another purple and white. I'll try to make it as the same as possible, everyone. Yeah. Try to mix with white so they become a little lighter. So I'll just try to make it uh, the same with the other one. It's okay, don't ha we hard to resolve if it's not so the same. Anyway, as long as the form be a lot like, it will be okay.
So it's okay if uh, the other one is a little darker. That's this fine one. I'm gonna use some white. I'm gonna make this a little uh, fog here or misty on the bottom part. Just add white and mix it together and you can make this part a little lighter or a little misty. Uh, misty or something. I don't know what's the Laura form. <laughs> okay, so I just have to blend here on the bottom part and uh, on the on the part which uh, the light and dark meet and you have to have a better blendings between these parts. Okay. Okay, so I have some white and put it here. It's a little harder to paint on this part because uh, it's a little far. I'm a little far. And I don't want my shoulder to cover on you. Cover on my view. Okay. There, so I have now better uh, bottoms. Yeah, yeah. So it's not so so much uh, good in this part of one in the blendings, but uh, it looks good for me. That's fine. Okay, so I am going to uh, paint now the field. So here I'll just try to paint white, but here it will be greenish. So I'm going to use some white and a little purple and I'm going to add some white just a pure white one for the winter. Yeah, maybe not so much white because I'm going to add light here. So I'm thinking my light is coming from all from the left side. Okay. Will be a pathway here, but it should be darker one because uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna put some white here. Maybe I'll just try to put not so white as of now. Try to put some colors here, bluish tone or some other. There, I'm 
Let's add some white. Yeah. So don't worry everyone, this is just an underpainting on this part. So later on we can try to put some some dips or shades or whatever we're gonna need to put there to make it um, realistic yeah we can leave it for now and we're gonna start here so we're gonna use the same brush so here i'm gonna use the room umber so here everyone uh, make sure that to clean the brush and here we're gonna try to use the room umber and try to put some more details there but yeah gonna be this way Yeah, just uh, pure raw umber. It's important everyone that you use a good raw umber. It is a really op opaque to have a very good amount. Very good, uh, what do you call this? Colors. Or very nice colors. Okay. So I'm using the same brush here, number 8 nylon flat brush. It's number 8. It's a medium size brush. I'm just do it like this. Yeah, this is a pathway here. There. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so. Yeah, this is a very simple landscape. Pit fields, pathways, and yeah, something like that. And I will try to put a field there. So, yellow and the blue. Going to try to paint uh, something like a green field, green yellow field. Yeah, I'll just try to fill everything there and put a little bluish. Maybe some darker greens with a little raw umber. Yeah, I can put some darker greens if we want. There. Another greenish color. So you can fill everything first uh, with the underpainting. Okay, so it's been 19 minutes everyone. I just I just uh, finished my underpainting uh, but Yeah, so it's uh, usually the first step uh, putting some underpainting and I think I can now start adding the details Yeah Okay, so here I'm going to try to put some clouds first Make sure to clean your brush if you want because uh, so that it will not mix with other colors. So here I'll try to put some uh, blue and the red to make some purple and then white. put some cloudy colors there 
ada yang kena asam white Just try to add some. But uh, my light, everyone, is coming from the left side. So I just have to blend with a little white or grayish colors. Adding some white. Also here, yeah, and then I'll try to put some lighter colors on the bottom part. There, hopefully, my head start blocking on you, everyone, and also here. Just uh, the clouds on the back part, everyone. So I just I'm adding a little lighter gray color or lighter uh, purple, and then I'll try to put uh, more white here. Yeah, just to add a little light on these clouds there. Hopefully, I never been in the uh, cold countries, everyone. So I don't really know what's the situation there. <laughs> What's the look of the clouds, whatever. I just see uh, on my, on the, I just see on the Google or on the, on the, on the internet or on the movies what they look like. Yeah, maybe that will be fine. Yeah, it's just a cloudy with a little bluish sky there. It's not so completely cloudy. But uh, it's a little uh, bluish, uh, grayish color. So I have here, I'm going to add another blue color in the romper. And I'm going to add some white. So here, it will be much more light clouds, but it will be much more like a cumulus clouds, something like that. So here, I'll try to put. And here, but I'm going to cover some parts there later on, so it doesn't matter, but we'll put it here. We'll cover some later on. There, I'm going to put some white. There, just easy, everyone. Just put the tape. I'm using now the number 8 flat brush. It's a medium size brush. Look at this everyone, just put the the white color on the tip of your brush. So you can just uh, do like that. Uh, push it so that uh, it will spread on the bottom part and all it, can, uh, it will remain on the top part. Something like that. I really don't know how to explain it much. <laughs> there. so much clouds because I always have to cover it later on maybe here yeah I just have to make it look like cotton there okay I think that will be enough clouds for this uh, for the for the spring season and here I'm going to add now some uh, snow because it's a snow mountain everyone so I'll try to use much more white just a pure white here 
I think this is a good, not good brush. Maybe I'll try to change my small brush. Uh, maybe I'll need a new brush. Yeah, maybe this brush is fine. Yeah, I think I, I need a pointed brush, everyone. Pointed flat here. And then the bottom, everyone you can blend it a little. Yeah, just blend it here at the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to add a lighter blue, so white and just blue everyone, just white and blue, and then you're going to put it on the other side, like this, yeah. Just white and blue, and then you can put it, uh, this part will not hit by the light, that's why it will be a little lighter blue. Okay, so we can now see a snowy mountain. So the mountains looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to continue adding more lighter blue. Or maybe a little not so light and not so dark. So here. Maybe I'll just cover it later on everyone with a pine tree. Yeah, maybe that will be enough. Okay, so on this one everyone, I'm going to make it a little melted or I don't know maybe if the snow will be melted. I've never been, uh, as I said, I've never been in the, in the winter countries or countries with snows. So I don't know what, maybe it will be just the same. Yeah, maybe it will be the same, but uh, I'll just make it, uh, it will become the ice or the whites become much more lesser or not so much. So I'll just put rocks there or something. So here I have some blue umber and white. And put it there. You can see that some rocks there, you can I see. Maybe these parts are rocks. There.
just whiten rubber there okay and next I'm going to put the snow this is the white uh, whether one I'm going to mix for a little darker raw umber I'm gonna put on the on the other side Use this white, yeah. And put the snow again. There. I just have to follow there what I see there. And then I have to blend a little uh, this uh, the whites so that it become not so white. I just have to blend it here. There. Okay. And then here one. I have to blend also. I am just blending. It's a dry brush now. So when you do like that, uh, it will blend the colors. Okay, so you just have to copy everything what you see there. Yeah, I think that looks like uh, melted snow. And then again, I'm going to use uh, white and uh, blue color to put it on the other side. So here, everyone, I'm going to put it here. What was I here? Yeah, maybe a little lighter blue. And also here, yeah, I can also put some more lighter blue. So here, everyone. So uh, I also uh, will also assume that uh, that the time is uh, the same. Uh, maybe it will be morning, uh, nine a.m. or ten, something like that. So I assume that it's the same time, everyone, in the day. Okay. So you can now see the difference between the two. There, you can see them some rocks or whatever on the top of the mountain. And here, on the other one, it's a plain snow, everything's snow. Okay, so I have now the second uh, mountain. So I will try to put some uh, here, some pine trees. 
yeah just a plain straight pine trees there I'll be using hmm, uh, number eight nylon flat brush is a medium sized brush if you cannot find this eight no, nylon flat brush you can always use a medium sized flat brush so here I have a blue red and the raw amber we get more bluish add white as well so that it can become darker so here make sure it's straight I just want to make it straight to the horizon. Yeah. Okay, you can, you can do like that, everyone. I'm going to add a little water. You can do like this. Just uh, dragging upward to create those uh, cross-like effect, but it looks like a pine tree in the in the car. There. This will become a little bigger. Yeah, it looks like a grasses, but it, uh, it will look like a far pine trees. Okay, so I'll just blend a little on the bottom. There, I'm also here. Okay. Again, the same technique, everyone. So we should be a little careful with this. I hope I'm not blocking on your way. There, okay. So it's just look the same way one, but uh, you know, uh, yeah. So it will just look the same there, but uh, I think it's not the same. Okay. So we have uh, pine trees there and pine trees also here. But I'll try to put some snow here on this uh, pine trees. So here it, it's okay if we don't put just a greenish color. So here I'm gonna put some white. I'll mix it with other colors, not so white everyone. And here I'll try to use this uh, number two nylon flat brush, it's a small flat brush. And here everyone I'm gonna try to put some some details on the snow on the pine trees. There. Here. 
Hey, I'm not ducking everyone. So here, uh, I'll just cover it with later on. Okay, so um, it's okay if not so much snow there. So maybe we can add some more white there. Some of it has been hit by the lights. So it will be good to see there. Okay. And also here. There. That looks good. Here everyone, so I uh, can put some greenish here. So the same brush everyone, and I used it here, but it'll be greenish. So here I have blue and the yellow. Again the same technique. will be much more bluish okay uh, much more green Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little lighter, lighter greens. And yeah, not too much everyone because uh, the color of these pine trees are dark, usually dark. Okay. Yeah, just a, just a little light there. That's gonna be hit, but usually in the bar, it's uh, unnoticeable. Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We have not two the same mountains. Okay, so I am going to. Oh my god. Sorry, everyone, I try. I think I touched this, this one. So you should also also be, be careful everyone with your hands. Uh, that you can touch these things, you can touch the painting. Just try to put some uh, the same color. Cover some parts there. Okay, so it has been covered. And now I'll try to put the pine tree here. So I'll just use this uh, bigger brush. I think one or two pine trees will be enough for that. Here. Uh, it's a bigger brush now. I'm going to mix for a darker color. Blue and the red. Yeah, just blue and red will be great purple and it will be here. Yeah, just align first. Yeah, not so tall. Yeah, I can do like that. I'm using a medium sized brush everyone. Tapping technique on the top. 
So I'm using now this uh, number 8 nylon frost brush is a uh, little broken. But I think the more broken your brush, uh, the, the better you can use it. There, I think that looks good. Also one more here. smaller yeah maybe just two pine trees on this part and also the same color everyone I'm gonna use I'm gonna put more red and it will be on this part yeah I think yeah maybe yeah so the same the same technique uh, the same height yeah maybe that would be the same height Okay, pretty same technique, everyone. So it's okay if the details are not so the same. So we can use a tapping technique there. Top, we can put a little details there. If you have a fun brush, everyone you can also use this. Can you also use it? Yeah, I'll try to copy everything if it look like the better. Not so much here. Okay, and there are two. Okay, the same thing everyone. Uh, just tapping technique and then you can create this beautiful tree. There. So I think those trees are looking the same. Yeah. Okay. So next I'm going to put lights there. So here I think I'm gonna put lights. But first I think I'm gonna start now putting some yeah, I'll just use this brush here in some white with a little blue. And I put uh, darks here. Shades, something. And then I'm gonna put a little lighter and add some white. And then I can try to put some pasted shadow here. There. Okay. So now 
and then uh, using the white and the blue everyone just white and the blue I'm going to put some little shades on the so the same brush everyone the number eight medium size flat brush okay I'm going to put some lights here I'm going to put the snow there so why am using this because uh, that part doesn't hit by the lights so it will be let's look like a bluish tone but here I'm gonna use some white okay you can just use tapping technique And don't overdo it, everyone must remember that. Yeah, just uh, use uh, the tip, everyone. There's a uh, thick white there. And it's good to use like that. There. I think it's raining outside. Okay, so we have now the snow. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. It looks like a snow now. Yeah. I think it's raining outside, everyone. I think that looks good. And now I'll try to, yeah. Try to put some white. There. And let's get our brush. I'm going to put some more white. I'm going to put highlights now. So here we are, I'm going to put some more highlights. Much brighter. So. Yeah, it's now winning outside. So I'm going to add the highlights here. And also here we run the edge of the uh, first here. Need to add some more white. Yeah. And here I'm gonna put some more white. The edge of the edge of the pathway. There. Yeah, maybe I'll just put some more white here. There. 
I just have to put some white here, but Okay. There are some, there's still some darks there. But I just have to blend it here. Okay, I'll try to use some um, uh, white and blue. I'm gonna try to put some little highlights here. Some a little bluish. There. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, I think I'm almost done with that. Uh, the snow part. Okay. Now I'm going to proceed here. So I'll just let it dry first. I'm gonna proceed here on the on the spring. So I'm going to try to put some more colors. Uh, greenish color so uh, blue yellow and white yellow and white so this is a big horizon uh, field everyone grassy field But what I like about what I will, I will like about this field, event, I'm gonna put plenty of uh, plenty of uh, flowers. So here first, I'm gonna put the the pathway. So maybe I'll just try to rotate to the pathway. Uh, blue, amber, and blue. Much more amber. So the nearer one will be a little bigger, just like there. Okay, so that you can see the perspective. So I will let you see. I will let you. Uh, I will let you discuss about a little about perspective. Everyone, so the perspective will be, uh, for example, this one, uh, this uh, this uh, pathway. So you can see smaller here and bigger here. So uh, let us assume that there is a straight line here, and our point or the vanishing point will be in this part. So we can have. Um, imaginary lines from this part to here and then here so we can create those smaller here and become bigger here and of course farther objects will become smaller and then the near object will become bigger okay so that's how you create a uh, perspective uh, there are many kinds of perspective uh, one point perspective two, kind, two point perspective three point perspective using mostly in the architecture but also when you see an object become farther and and 
is normally uh, when you see the object it can a little far or farther not a little far but it will be far from you it will become uh, bluish or lighter so you can see here uh, this uh, tree still come a little much more bluish and then also the mountain is a little lighter and come more, much more bluish because it's far from us yeah okay so here I have blue under bumper and then yellow under bumper I'm going to put the uh, Casted shadow. So this is a casted shadow, everyone. So our landscape is just very, very simple. We have a mountain, trees, and then uh, the pathway. And then I'm going to, I'm going to try to put for forget everyone to put some uh, greens on the on the on the pine tree. So I'll be using the medium size flat brush, this one. Uh, this is the number eight in the flat brush. And blue and yellow. Yeah, just blue and yellow. Can use the uh, can use the tapping technique. Tapping technique is just when you just tap it and put it uh, on the dry paints. It's a wet on dry one actually. So we're putting the the green, uh, dark green part here on the right side because the light is coming from the left side. Again, I'm gonna use this a little lighter color now like the greens and put it on the left side so I'm using the this brush again the number two and on first brush Also here. Okay, so I just put, put gonna put it on the left side. There. So we have now these green pine trees. Pine trees. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to now put some more details on the field. Some browns, greens. Yeah, maybe I'll try to use. No, maybe I will do first. Uh, I'm going to uh, use now the fan brush, I think. At first, I think I will try to. Add details on this uh, highlights on the on the pathway. So here I have some uh, raw amber, yellow, and the uh, red. And then I will try to put some white. Yeah, it should be much more light. I need to put some white paints. Okay, sorry. Yeah, maybe much uh, lighter, everyone. I want a uh, better contrast. This. 
Mówi co mi jadło? Try to put some purple, so red and a little blue color, and then white on the other side. Yeah, for the casted shadow, everyone, uh, put it a little purple. color on the field and uh, on this uh, uh, little cliff on the side of the road I'm using the small brush everyone number two small brush there okay a uh, little lighter Create those uh, okay. There, and I'm going to retouch the lights. So I'm gonna use the orange, red, and yellow. I want to much more warm colored here yeah Just a normal pathway, everyone. It's not a road or something. Just a human pathway. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put some more yellow. Make it lighter. There, I wanna, I wanna make it uh, much lighter. There, so you have now this uh, beautiful pathway. Yeah. Okay, with the uh, lights there. Okay, next I'm going to put. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just fill this fill this field with uh, flowers. So, so they will become a little fast. We can make it faster. So I have here blue and the red. Some yellow. Yeah. I'll just try to put some more plants here or I don't know I mean uh, dark there not so much everyone so here I have yellow and the uh, Blue. And to put uh, some little highlights, not so much.
there. Now I'll try to put some. I need to clean my brush, everyone. You should clean your brush. Good. Okay, so I will try to use this yellow. Yeah, yellow first. So it's springtime everyone, usually the flowers are blooming in this time. There, not so much on the distance. And so also here. Okay, and then I'll try to put a little heel on the flowers and white. To make highlights. Okay. There. Yeah, that looks good. Look like a flesh now, so maybe just uh, white and red. Yeah, just a tapping technique, everyone. Just put it on the top. Just. Uh, red and white and then just drop it drop there Put some white on the top and then you can put plenty of flowers. In the distance also everyone you can just uh, uh, create the strokes like that to make it look like it's pink filled filled with flowers. There, okay. So, yeah, that that's really great. So I like the, I like how it looks like there. Yeah. So you can now see uh, there are plenty of flowers, red, red flowers, yellowish, or yeah, something like that on the field. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good, everyone. Yeah, I'm going to put a tree there on the side. But first, I'm going to put more red color
okay okay i think that's gonna be fine yeah i'll just try to put the tree here yeah, i just want to put a big tree there okay so i'll be using darker color blue umber and the blue with the red yeah it's a good dark i don't use any black everyone so here i'll try to put a big tree some at least we have some cuts there there Well, I'm going to put, make it down like this, the branch. here Actually, we can use a smaller brush now, this part. There. Just one tree. Yeah. Yeah, I know, so and also here. Uh, yeah, this is the same tree, everyone. Yeah, maybe here. Now it's a little harder to copy this one. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. So we should have a little extra careful with this part. I don't know why I do this kind of tree.
there. Yeah, I think that looks almost the same, but not the same, I know. I'm gonna find some blue color. This uh, painting brush looks like I'm painting two landscape at the same time. So it's actually take me time. Yeah, I don't know if it's the same. But it's okay. to breathe there uh, to breathe everyone yeah yeah something's wrong now <laughs> yeah something's wrong it's okay Later, I'm going to fill this part with uh, flowers. So, I will just have to cover some parts there. There. Okay, so at least I have that. Uh, almost the same. Okay, now I'm going to try to use. Wait a minute, I'm going to put some casted shadow first on this one. There. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush. I will use now the liner brush here to create uh, more. Branches here. Yeah, so to create branches one. Also here should be the same, but it's always good, not perfect. It will be fine. Oh, but it's perfect. And now I'll try to put many branches here. Yeah, it's hard to copy everything, everyone.
I'll just try to put random. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that will be he look like just the same. Now we need to put a little highlights now on this uh, on this first tree. Yeah, first I'm going to use this white and the blue again. This white and the blue, everyone. I'm going to put some snow here, yeah. And maybe here. Some snow on the on the body. Or the tree trunk. So here there yeah it's still wet everyone but uh can do it a little slowly Okay, I think I will just do this one first. Uh, now, I wait, everyone. I going to do some uh, some shades here to create the uh, that there's something behind this or beneath this. Uh, so beneath this uh, snow. So I assume that these are the plants there. Okay. Yeah, but I'm going to continue that later on everyone. I will try to do this one first. But this time I'm gonna use this red and the blue to make them purple and white. So on that side I'm gonna put a light purple here. There will be no snow, snow everyone because it's a uh, this is spring, springtime. So I'm using the number two nylon flat brush. It's a medium size brush, uh, no smaller size flat brush. Okay, so that you can understand what I'm using now. a little lighter with white with blue and white this is a diffuse reflection or the bouncing lights everyone so that's why you can still see lights there even if uh, it's not hit by the light so the lights coming from the left side so here I have the rule umber the yellow and the red and then white more yellow there I like this light Okay. Not so much everyone. Don't, don't put too much. 
because some are hit, uh, covered by the shades or shadow. Okay, I'm going to put some raw umber first. So to put a uh, raw umber in the middle. So that I can still see lights there. Maybe a little raw umber here. A little one for here and also here not everything will be covered Okay, a uh, little light everyone on the, on the purple, oh no, on the snow side, maybe on the, here also, I wanted to emphasize everyone or uh, give much contrast. It's okay to put much more light there, or even white. There. Okay, and on the other side, I, want, I don't want to emphasize so much, so... But this part will be hit by the light. Also, that's why you can put... Uh, you can put the... The light browns okay yeah but uh, do not put too much there yeah I think that's I don't think that is the same tree <laughs> yeah but looks good I'm going to make this a little straight here because uh, it looks like it doesn't look like the same tree now okay I think that looks like the same tree Okay, I'm going to put, I think this is already dry, I'm going to put now snow there. I'm going to use this white, yeah. And then here, of course, covered by the snow. There. Of course, there. Also, on the top one, I need to put also. That's it. Yeah. So. Spills now with the snow, and then here. Okay.
Okay, so yeah, I will not uh, put too much there as part so that there are some things there that you can see. It looks like that uh, there's some there's some uh, plants there. Okay, yeah. So far, it looks good. Yeah, just very simple, everyone. I think this is just a very simple tutorial. Now I'm going to try to put some flowers here. And also some first I'm gonna put some greens and then some flowers so maybe I'll try to use this one the number uh, 10 nylon flat brush I uh, know bristle flat brush is a white bristle everyone so I like this look like a fun brush so here I have some yellow and the blue to make some greens little red yellow and the blue And then here's the tapping technique. Okay, it's okay everyone if you don't put too much leaves there. I will not put too much leaves there because it will just cover my view. Just a little yellow. Highlights, everyone. Just a little highlights for this. Yeah, and then I will try to put some flowers. So again, I will try to make it a blooming pink or something yeah yeah red and the white there this looks like a fire tree now Okay, so continue adding. Just put it on the top of one of the leaves. Okay, and I'm going to put some white, white and the red to create much more highlights there just put it on the top of the but not the all of it everyone just choose which one you want to put the light it's not everything will be hit by the lights okay so that will be good just easy and just a few leaves and now I'm going to put I'm going to try to put some yellow flowers here on the bottom there Just uh, 
some yellow flowers also mixed with the red flowers Okay, so you can now see, and now I'm gonna try to use some white. Let's make it in group, everyone. Let's make it uh, by group so that I uh, can see that uh, they are different flowers. Also some red here. There. Okay. Yeah, I think I am done. Yeah, so yeah, I think I am contented with this one everyone. So maybe I will, I will not retouch this part here. Or maybe just a little retouch. It's almost two hours now everyone. I didn't finish this one. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little complicated. Okay, maybe just a little retouch for that part. Just add a white more, one more white. There for the pathway. Just a few retouch and then it will be finished. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so I think I am done everyone. So here, yeah, I'm done. I'll finish this one. Mm, yeah, maybe I'll try to get the tape so that I'll see what it looks like. yeah so i think i really love the entire result everyone it looks good uh not so much realistic but it's uh looking good yeah yeah so i don't i didn't expect that i can do like this one today uh it's uh, almost two hours one hour and 46 minutes so like i'm painting two paintings at the same time but it does have the same view okay everyone so yeah I think uh, I really like the entire result and I really love it. So thank you everyone for watching this video today. And I hope you get something out of this. You can also learn, you can paint with me. You can follow this painting. You are free to follow. You can also do whatever you want for this painting. So, and I want you to learn also. Just follow everything there. You can learn something from this. You can apply it in your painting and Okay everyone, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this. 
And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.